welcome to this tutorial if you're new just subscribe and hit the notification bell to get all our latest video so today i'm going to show you on how you can integrate our system with the microtik so after you've made your payment this is what you'll get as your dashboard so the next step that you should be doing you should come here at station then add a new station on the list of station you'll see that there is no station that is listed there then you can just click add a new station so i'm going to add a demo station that we will use to integrate or connect it with the microtik device so here you just give it a name like you can say like let me write like mta wi-fi or you can just give it a station name or where you are setting the base and then you can write here as muta dot wi-fi you can give it any domain dot wi-fi then you can just write the location may I'll just write Nairobi and comma Kenya mm, written Nairobi and well so I'll leave it as Nairobi Kenya then you will choose the service that you want that microtik that will be connected with the system to have as well set as hotspot and PPPoE then you can just give it a pool name to differentiate different stations so like here pool then i write just like that that is our pool then i'll set it as enable then this nas ip will be automatically be generated and the nas secret so you can just click add to new station so once you've added to the new station you need now to log in into your microtik so i'm going to connect to a microtik device you need to remember you need to download a win box so that you can connect with the microtik device so let me plug in my microtik device like this so i've already plugged in when i click here refresh you will be able to see the microtik device listed there so let me refresh here you can see it's here so i'll use the mac address to log in and you can see that there is here this let me put it as that so when you log in uh, let me use the ip use the ip but i think the cable has moved mm -hmm. let me refresh so let me log in again then i'll write here as okay because this is the first time then i will the first stage that i will do i'll provide network to the micro tip because when you write here like ping in google com the microtik doesn't have internet so i'll provide internet to it first so i'll come here to quick set then the mode that i like it's home ap you can set it as automatic if your isp is providing you with static you can click and then uh, key in this the details that your isp will be giving you or if he's using pppoe you can use the you can key in the ppp and the and the password that will be provided by usb but for me i'm going to use this automatic then i'm going to plug the cable for that will supply internet to this microtik yeah i have keyed in and you can see it has automatically detected the ip from the internet source that i'm sourcing from and then it will set here the ip range as uh ip of the default ip of microtik which is 88.1 and then you just do it like that so i've not saved it let me save it first apply and then I'll, you'll now come here now this is the stage where you will start integrating so for this first pay, first uh tutorial i'm going to show you on how you can uh, integrate the hotspot so first i will come here at bridges you can see by by, by default when you reset it, it there will be there will be just one bridge which will be the default one let me log in again i don't know it's logging me out so by default it will have this and then here it will have all the ports will be assigned the default bridge that has been created if it doesn't have you can create a bridge then you can assign it to those ports so now i'm going to create a bridge that will hold uh the hotspot so i'm going to click here add and i'm going to write uh, cloud t 
quick bridge or I can, I can write like HT for hotspot and then I will apply that then this bridge doesn't have an IP so I will assign it an IP here so add here and make sure that the IP that you will be assigning it it should not be existing or should not be a public IP so you can just come here and write like me I'll use 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
after that you, you can come here remember that you had set the pool name if you have enabled the pool name you will need to copy this pool name if it is it, if it is status it's enabled you need to copy this pool name then come to your ip then pool if your pool has been enabled that is then you can just come here and replace this the ip range that you created for us we choose 4.2 uh an ip of 4.0 or 4.1 so we can just replace the name of the pool with that then click apply when you click apply it's already set now the next step that we're going to do because we have already configured we can also give this micro ticker as an identi identity of that station name by doing this copying the station name and then come into uh, system identity then paste there then apply then the next thing uh, we are going to replace the file because remember that the file that has been created are the default ones from microtik so we will need to uh, drop ours so we can come here at stations let me first open the uh, download to make sure that i don't have the file name as login again let me remove this we delete that so that i can only have one file name as login so when i come here to list of station i can click download login page so when i click download login page it will download the login page for this station which i'm going to add it to this uh, page so here we'll save it at download folder you can save it on any preferred folder that you want then just save so when you save you can come here to downloads and you'll see that the page will be here and then you can just come here at this make sure you scroll where it's written hotspot stroke uh, login.html uh, other micro ticks you will find that it will be written like flash stroke hotspot stroke login.html so it depends on the structure of your micro tick on the file but this is the exact uh, file that we're interested in you can just come here and highlight this file then click this minus button to delete that file uh, let me click i think it's loading file you can see it's it has been deleted then you can just come here and copy this uh, not copy just drag and drop here to where it's uh, it's required uh, so because this micro tick is taking long then you can come here and confirm that it has replaced with the new micro tick or you can just delete it again and then use that to be sure that that file has is the one that has been uploaded there so here you can see now from that we have already integrated it with uh, with hotspot so from here you can come here at here so first we need to rename our wireless uh, wireless here mm, let me name it as let me name it the same way that i named the station you can name it any it doesn't depend it doesn't depend the name that you give the station should not actually uh, to be the same as the one that you you're given the ssid name of your wi-fi so i'm going to write it like this i'm going to check if it has security it has been set to none and then i'm going to come here at bridges because remember that we are the ports that are operating their bridges has the bridge has the main uh the, the the default bridge but i'm going to assign the port that i want this uh the system to uh, the port I'm going to assign the ports which I want the system to flow to with the new bridge that I created so far. For this case, I'm going to set like port 2. Then I'm going to set port 4. I'm going to leave one port not assigned because that port is the one that I'm connected to and it's the one that will be using to manage the Wi-Fi. So to, to access the micro tick, sorry then just come here at the wireless the wireless the wlan then assign it to that then click apply so when you click apply it will change now from here so after you have assigned the uh, cloud tick so i'm going to demonstrate here and test if this wireless here 
this wireless that is appearing here this one uh, let me use the IP to log in so I'm going to use like um, to check this I, this wireless that we had created here which is called Wi-Fi that I'm turning let's wait it to load I think it's taking longer Mm, so wireless uh, wireless so let's confirm here i can display my phone here so i'm going to disconnect this phone on wi-fi so then come here and open this wi-fi network So I'm going to click this one, the one that we created. Wi-Fi. Then it will ask me here to tap. So when I tap, you will see it's redirecting to Wi-Fi dot. Um, turn. You will see you'll, the first time you you that when you drop the file, will get this error until you come here to. Uh, this to your portal. Mm, let's see if it uh, here to your portal. Then come here to a uh, hotspot plan. You need to add one plan so that it can display. So click here, add new plan. Then I'm going to give uh, create one one plan. So here I'm going to write like one hour plan, one hour plan. Then I will assign it to that station. Then write here one hour. Then I will choose here. If it is one day, you write it like that. If it is one hour, write it like that. Then I'm going to limit uh, the amount of device that will be connected when I use a purchases to that plan to one. Then I'm going to set like amount to ten shillings. Then that, then um, I'm going to set it as that uh, as time limit. Then bandwidth will be unlimited. But if you want to add a bandwidth, you can just come here and add a bandwidth plan so that you can assign it to that page, uh, to that plan. So then just click here, add. Uh, so once it's added, once it's added, you will uh, I will come here and uh, refresh this so you can see that it has this uh it has this um, this plan so the next video i'm going to show you on how you can link like a payment gateway to that so that you can say because now if you subscribe you will get like uh, nothing because we have not added we have not choose our default payment gateway here so that's how you set up the hotspot into you connect the system our system with your microtech device so that it can offer you an hotspot service so see you in the next video